Well, there's a proposed crackdown on criminals at gas pumps. Car thefts have become so common that people tell us they're scared to stop at metro gas stations these days. Yeah, now one state lawmaker wants to tackle the problem by hitting the criminals where it hurts with harsher prison sentences. And Fox News' Jacqueline Schultz is live in South Fulton County tonight where residents got to hear that proposal firsthand. Jacqueline? A lot of the residents tell me that they want stiffer penalties for anyone who tries to hijack a car at a local gas station and want to make sure that these kind of criminals won't try these stunts again. Now, one Georgia lawmaker wants to address that issue. He's calling it the slider bill. It's before the Senate right now, and it makes sneaking into cars and driving off with them a felony. Just have to use extreme caution wherever you go these days. For months, criminals sneaking into cars at the pump and driving off made many in South Fulton County scared to get gas. While Fulton County police say the number of crimes committed by car thieves called sliders has dropped significantly in 2017. But do people feel safe? Well, you see it on the news every day. How can you feel safer? And I've seen, you know, uh, police officers at some of the gas stations. They feel like something could possibly happen, uh, and that's just not a good feeling. Lawmaker Representative William Bodie wants to make sure no driver is scared to head to a gas station. No and told drivers how he wants to crack down on repeat offenders at a town hall at West Lake High. He's proposing HB 67, which expands how the Georgia Code sees the crime of carjacking. If a criminal sneaks into a car while the driver's not looking, and speeds off. It could be called hijacking a motor vehicle in the second degree, and it will be a felony. If someone did commit the crime, that it, it, it won't it won't be a situation where they will repeat the same offenses over and over again. While plenty of residents want stiffer penalties for sliders, some tell me they hope lawmakers do more to stop repeat juvenile offenders. Other lawmakers are already working on how to stiffen Georgia's penalties for juvenile criminals. We blame the community, we blame the government, we blame the schools and everybody else. But these people do need to be held accountable at a young age. And HB 67, again, also known as the slider bill, passed the House with 151 votes. It's now in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Reporting live in South Fulton County, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. Well, something has to be done. Jacqueline, thanks.